Murray Daniel. So, um, look, we got the knockout tonight. Um, how would you rate the performance to start it off with? I mean, yeah, it was, it was good luck. I came, I came out and uh, started to play on the last you know, there was a couple of stages where I just sort of backed up to have a little bit of a walk and see what he was doing and that. Um, you know, I, I didn't feel as though there were any stages where he uh, was in trouble or he, he was going to be able to put me in any trouble. So, you know, for me it was, it was about, um, you know, I guess practicing um, certain things and certain things that we were practicing back in the gym. Garth's a tough guy, he got up a few times, he was hurt badly in the stage. And he kept coming, this is exactly what I needed for this stage. You know, there's some big punches in the middleweight division, so you know, it's good to work with a guy like Garth to be able to make sure that you know, I don't do anything silly and I don't get caught with super punches. Yeah. Um, so you got the knockout, was that what you were, were you looking for a knockout tonight? Or were you, or were you perfectly fine with the end of the I guess we just gave it that little bit of extra sort of sting to it. So, you know, I, I felt like I needed to get that, that stoppage victory. And uh, it would have been it would have been probably a little bit better in my mind if I could have done it in a, maybe a better fashion. But, you know, the corner done a great job in stopping, you know, in stopping the fight. He was, he was very hurt at that stage. Yeah, you never want to see a guy come out when it shouldn't come out. So, you know, they stopped it at the right time, I think. Um, it was kind of odd that he was, uh, you know, when you, when you address that he fights a bit dirty, uh, he, he took, you know, a lot of upset to that. So it was kind of funny that he faked so many injuries. Um, obviously, the low blows didn't appear to be low blows. What did you think? What did you think about that? Did you did you mind? I mean, he was clearly hurt and trying to survive. Yeah, I mean, there was the the time he took the break after the the alleged low blow. He he, he was very very hurt, and I knew the reason why he took that extra rest was to to, to, to let himself recover. And, in the head, and uh, that, that was okay. I knew there were going to be other times that I was going to be able to find the mark as well. And, you know, it, was, it was only a matter of time before I caught him again. The um, the referee deducted you a point. Um, it didn't end up making any difference, luckily, but it looked like a pretty bad call. Um, I mean, obviously not saying anything bad about a referee or an official, but what did you think of the call? I mean, um, the referees are there to do their job. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to say bad things about what they do because the pressure's on those guys. Um, you know, sometimes they make great calls, sometimes they don't. So, you know, whatever happens, happens. You know, luckily, it, it was just the point, and it, it wasn't something that really meant anything to us as well. You know, we, we got the stoppage, so, you yeah, the point of deduction meant nothing to us. Yep. So, look, all the talks on Golovkin. Um, is that who you want next over everybody else who's around? Yeah, he's the one everybody talks about. You know, I mean, he's the one that uh, every, well, they say everybody's running from, and you know, I, I keep saying, you know, if they set the date, then I'll, I'll be there. If, if, if we can come to a date, you know, I'll, I'll be there. You know, unfortunately, we had a date but that didn't work with us, and uh, you know, it's it just bad timing, pretty much. And then my, my team. I believe that we deserve to, to get it on a date that suited us a little bit as well. And, you know, we, we are still very keen on a Golovkin fight, so hopefully you know, it can be made. Um, so he's already all but signed to fight Andy Lee. I think it's going to be April 26th. So would you consider waiting around for Golovkin, or would you want to take an interim fight should he sign to fight Andy Lee? I mean, if, if he fights Andy Lee, I'm, I don't believe I'm going to wait around. Um, there, there are other big fights out there for me as well, and you know, my, my team will work very hard in you know, securing those fights for me as well. Mm -hmm. uh, there other great fighters in the great division as well. And, you know, if, if you have to chase one of the other top fighters, then uh, we'll do it that way. Yeah, so, I mean, there's quite a few guys who are going to be a little bit caught up. Um, Golovkin in April, Sergio Martinez in June. And then you've got the issues with Peter Quillen being on Showtime. I'm sure you follow the uh, the Showtime HBO feud. Do you have any worries about if you were to go to Showtime to fight Quillen, would you sign a you know a multi-fight deal with them? For me, you know, I, I, but most fighters, you know, we'll, we'll fight whoever, whenever. Um, you know, it's, it's up to the management management to be able to work out those, those details, and uh, you know, hopefully they can, they can come up with something. You know, I, I hate to see you know, the opportunity of me not fighting Peter Quillen, it's only because of network arguments, I guess. And, 
Now, hopefully, we can we can come to arrangements where you know the best fighters get to fight the best fighters. And that's what people want to see. They don't want to see the number one ranked fighter fighting the 360 ranked fighter. They want to see the best fight the best and whatever network. Um, also, a guy. I mean, we've spoke about this before, but Stern. You know, he probably wouldn't come to Australia, so you'd have to go to Germany again. Would you be willing to go back there again? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I was that already. So, you know, my, my record in Germany has been pretty good so far, so, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do that again. <laughs> you know, this time, you know, I, I don't have a title to lose. The other times, I have titles to lose. So, you know, I'm going over there with a little bit more motivation. A little bit more motivation to, to be able to win back a title. It's yes, a, a worthy champion as well. He's you know, appeared you know, probably over the years to be sort of finishing up and when he came out and put on a, a great performance against Barker. Um, and I thought I'd love my opportunity yesterday. Yeah, it was really, you know, it was a risky move for you to go to Germany and fight him the first time. You know, you clearly won the fight, but he had just come off two very, very bad decisions. Were you worried going into that fight that? that the same was going to happen. Uh, I mean, you, you've always 